The three of us moved here when my dad bought the new house. It had been lived in, but it was nice and cheap. Mom and I used to wonder if it was haunted. But it was a small house with only one room on the second floor, so the price was right. Hiroshi, hurry up, you're coming to greet the neighbors. What? Aw, oh, man. First, the house on the right. Lovely around here. So green, too. Um, it's kind of a strange house, isn't it? How? I checked the other side before. It's only got one window. There! Hiroshi! I do wish you'd stop prying into other people's affairs. Looks like they're out. Well, let's move on to someone else for now. Yes? It's a pleasure to meet you. We're the Sakaguchis, just moved in next door. Please accept this gift and come by any time if you need anything. Oh, you shouldn't have. By the way, the Numaj house next to us, do they work during the day? Hmm, I don't know. That house is always shut up. They don't seem to get out much. I've been here ten years and I've never seen their face. But then at night, we often see a figure moving about on the second floor. But there's been a rumor lately that it's a middle-aged woman living there. She's apparently kind of strange and doesn't want to show her face in public. Huh, so you still haven't met who lives there. I keep ringing the doorbell, but no one comes. I'm full. Really? You barely touched your food. Well, I want to get my room sorted out quick. I bet it's dusty. Hmm. Her window is right there. Oh well. It was that night. day I knew it couldn't be real. It was just too strange to be real. Had she really left the door open? I didn't want to know. And again the next night. <sighs> Dear boy, you 
What's that? What is it? The old lady next door is a goddamn freak. I can't sleep there anymore. She tried to come into my room through the window. Come on, hurry! What? There's no one there. It's true. She's fucking weird. She tried to come over here. Hiroshi, you sure it wasn't a dream? No, it was real. Dear. If Hiroshi wasn't dreaming, we should let the police know about this. It fits with all the rumors we've heard, too. Really? You too now? After a long discussion, we decided that my parents would take the room on the second floor for a while. But the woman didn't show up. Come on, Hiroshi. It was a dream after all, wasn't it? No! What do you say? Give your old room a shot. It's quieter on the second floor. You can study easier. Yeah, okay. I'll do it. But things were so quiet for so long that even I started to suspect whether it had really happened. No way. There's no way she'd start coming again from tonight.
I could hear her voice up so close, I knew there had to be some way she was crossing over. I wanted to call my dad, but hesitated. She would only hide away again while he came. More than that, I wanted her to knock so I could push her from the window to her death. That night, I stayed wide awake until the morning came. She never did knock, but I know she's still trying to force her way into my room. And I have proof. The window next door is coming for me. Tonight, it'll no longer be safe. We're talking about moving somewhere else. It's a favorite voice of my best speaking, and I just want to thank you all for getting to the end of this video. This Junji Ito project was probably the most ambitious thing I've ever done on this channel, and I couldn't have done it without the lovely help of my friends. Uh, some of them who wanted to be a part of this, but just couldn't do it for various different reasons. This was actually supposed to be done two months ago, but it never got completed due to all sorts of different problems, such as uh, my internet access running low, my phone constantly breaking down, but I'm so glad I finally got to finish this. And special thanks goes out to uh, the stars of this, which would include my Raven, MD Who Entertainment, and none other than my Hongo Johnny. Also, there, there's another special shout out to all those who just couldn't be a part of the project, but tried to do so. That goes out to Zombie Corn Horror Tales, Ares, Mandy Morta. Thank you, Mandy Morta, because I would have never been able to meet MD Who Entertainment without you. And various other people. If I have completely forgotten about you, I'm very, very sorry. It's just that I've been on a tight schedule. I've been trying to get a lot of things done, etc., etc. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and all the links of the actors that were involved in this will be in the description below, alongside all the other YouTubers that wanted to be a part of this, but just couldn't really do it. So, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Amino. I am the voice of nightmares, and I say good day and good night. Goodbye.